So today what I want to share with you are the top things that you can do in New Jersey. And we're separating the list by South Jersey first and then heading to North Jersey. This list is going to be helpful to you. So let's start in South Jersey first. Number one, Atlantic City. It is the eastern side of the U.S. capital for casinos. But what I want you to realize is that the Atlantic City has really made great effort to make the community more family friendly. It's not just casinos anymore. And in fact, Showboat is working on not only revamping the whole casino as well as the rooms, they're also building a water park that has a retractable roof, which means that it's fun for the whole family. Besides going to the casinos, there's over 60 stores that you can visit and do some shopping. Next, let's talk about Atlantic City Beach. It is one of the free beaches that we have here in New Jersey. It's one of the best kept secrets. It is large, it is spacious, you can fish, you can do some other fun activities. They do have lifeguards that are stationed during the summer season. Part of the beach, we also have a big boardwalk. Atlantic City Boardwalk is part of a five mile stretch. And what I love about it is wide. So you can use it for walking, you can use it for biking. There's lots of little carts that you can rent out and just take a stroll on the boardwalk as well. And there's lots of activities that are happening on the boardwalks throughout the season. For example, there is AC Triathlon in August, Ironman competition in September, and also other festivals and food trucks as well. Also, don't forget that Atlantic City is the capital of world-renowned restaurants. Guy Fieri has a restaurant here. Gordon Ramsay has a themed restaurant based on his hit show, Hell's Kitchen. If you are in love with seafood, definitely check out Doc's Oyster House. And of course, there's many, many more. Next, let's head over to Millville, New Jersey, New Jersey Motorsports Park. What I love about it is it's this huge complex that has lots of things that you can do. You can do ax throwing, you can go go-karting. They actually even have options to be able to do it in the dark. They also have endurance races where you need a couple of people together. Vintage motorcycle festival, monster trucks, food truck festivals, and also summer concerts. So definitely a great place to visit. Next, we're heading over to Camden. And we are visiting one of my favorite places, which is Adventure Aquarium. We'll probably spend a whole day there. They have over 15,000 animals for you to watch behind the glass. Well, they have a shark tunnel, shark realm exhibit, Stingray Beach Club. They do offer military discounts, so you have to definitely plan ahead and shop around for tickets because they are less expensive during the week and, of course, more expensive in the weekend. Yet, if you think about it, because you are already in Camden, there's lots of other things to do and places to eat. You you can make a really great day out of your visit. Next, we're heading over to Berlin Township to one of my favorite indoor water parks. It's called Sahara Sam. Here's what I love about it. It has a hotel attached to it, which means that you can make a great two-day trip out of it. There's a ton of things to eat around the area. I love to go there in the wintertime, so that way you feel like you have a little bit of a summer for a few days, even though it's cold and dreary outside. The park does have a retractable roof. It is truly family-oriented, so they have activities and areas for small kids. They have a lazy river. If you don't really want to do anything, you just want to float around in the tube. And of course, they have like three four different slides on the tube which is a lot of fun and if you want to do it yourself or you can do it in a group of people as well next we are heading to Mineland, new jersey to drive in movie theater yep we have one of those and i'm super happy and it's fun because you can either bring your own food or you can buy the food there and you can bring your pets you can bring your friends in other cars and you just have fun fresh air and then you're watching movies under the sun so that is the list for south jersey now we're heading to north jersey with the liberty science center an amazing place where you can spend probably a whole day at and we're going to start out with planetarium learn more about the stars and the sky and the history. The tickets are very inexpensive. There's plenty of parking, so you don't have to worry about that. If you are in Jersey City and you want to extend your stay and do something truly magical, take a ferry to visit the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. What are we going to do at Ellis Island? Be prepared to spend at least a half a day there. There's a museum for you to visit. It's one of my favorite places to visit because it has truly so much meaning as well as history that is not that far away as well. The tickets are definitely limited, so you need to plan ahead and you need to buy them ahead. Next, we are heading to Vernon Township. 
and we're gonna go skiing in Mountain Creek. And you can do cross-country skiing and mountain skiing. They also have a lodge that is attached to the resort, so you can make a great two or three day trip out of it, whether you want to do it in the summertime or the wintertime. Definitely lots of things to do. Next, we're going to head over to Bergen County to Tenafly Nature Center. In the winter time, you can do some snowshoeing and exploring. There's guided tours, there's hiking tours, there's exploration tours. There's fun things to do there in the winter time as well as the summertime. One of the fun things that you can do in the winter is learn how to make maple syrup. So they will help you figure out how to identify the proper tree, get everything set up. You know, they show you everything, which I think is pretty good. Like it's almost like a hands-on activity that you can do and learn something new. Next, we are heading to Mercer County, heading to Hamilton, and we're going to visit Grounds for Sculpture. It is one of my favorite places to visit. It is like over 40 acres, and they have over 270 sculptures that I know that you can look at it and say, oh my God, this is a real person lay around having a picnic, when in reality, it's an actually sculpture. These sculptures are all done by some of the amazing artists as well as up and coming artists. There is a really great restaurant that is on the grounds. It's called Rats Restaurant. You definitely want to have reservations. It has the most amazing views of landscapes and water. When my daughters were younger, we would take walks in the park and they enjoyed watching because they have like giant people just like suitcases laying around and they just found it funny because they look so real but they're just such big sculptures so it's definitely a great place to visit and of course Hamilton being really close to Princeton there's lots of other places to visit if you wanted to make this a full day excursion to the area and Princeton is also nearby as well which is great for visit this is the list that I have for you for North Jersey do let me know in the comments what are some of the other favorite places that you have to visit whether North Jersey or South Jersey that way I can add them to my videos at a later time and of course we would love to be your community and your real estate resource of choice so let us know how we can help you thank you so much for joining us and until next time